Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with another love reading. And this reading is what are their true intentions in love with you. And uh, yeah, this is about your relationship here. You don't have to be with the person. You could maybe be separated. Uh, anybody who you have some type of a romantic connection with, whether you are not, whether you are together with them or, or you know, or not at this moment. But yeah, this is for everybody who has some type of a romantic interest, okay, out there. And the bottom of the deck, Leo, is the King of Wands and the Devil card. Wow. So uh, this is you showing up, right? Yeah, for sure. And the Devil is here. So looking at the reading here, the Devil is here because I believe there was cheating. Uh, there was uh, deception. There was uh, maybe a third party as well. And there could have been already an ending here. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, okay. There could This ending, though, could be going on right now. And for some, this is a transformation, okay? And uh, I'll explain that in just a minute. Hold on just a second, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get a few cards here from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Yeah, and let's see what they have to say about Leo and their person's true intentions in love. Let's see. What does Leo need to know about their person? What does Leo need to know about their person in love? Time for a nap. Tick tock. Okay, so, you know, somebody could be tired here. They could be tired. Somebody could be tired because there's fighting here, looking at this uh, reading. Five of Swords showing up, so this is conflict, right? And TikTok is showing up here. TikTok is, you know, it, there is a, there's a timeline that has to be met, right? Time is running out to do something, maybe to reconcile with somebody, Maybe to make an apology, but there's some type of a timeline here, all right? Yeah, and uh, let's get one more card. What does Leo need to know about their person? Time could be running out for you, Leo, or your person, right? And we have co-create. Okay, so this is kind of cool, right? So maybe there is a timeline here in order to, uh, you know, establish something really good with your person, maybe, or with somebody, right? Co-create and... Uh, Make something uh, happen, right, and work together. But let's see in this reading here, and uh, yeah, your current energy right now, Leo, Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, and I'm looking at your reading here, and I feel like you are questioning somebody, whoever you're with here, whoever this person may be, I feel like you're questioning them, and I think that you want to cut out a union that they have. Yeah, and they could have put you in a third party for some of you, and these energies can be, you know, they can go back and forth, right? Yeah, they can they can go back and forth. Um, I feel like there was some type of a cheating here or juggling going on. Um, yeah, even if it wasn't for something serious possible, uh, you know. But there's some type of cheating going on, I believe. In your desire, Leo, you are trying to uh, have a new start for yourself. Uh, there could be an Aries here, though. I see the Magician, and I also see the Emperor in the reading. So I feel like you're having, a, you know, you maybe you want an Aries. That's that's a definitely a possibility because the way they are looking at you, the Emperor is, you know, in in that in that position here, and in your desire is the Magician card, the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I feel like you want a new start here, or you want an Aries, right? But the Five of Cups showing up with the Ten of Swords. Uh, I feel like you want to pull yourself out of this sadness, right? Yeah, you do. And there could be regret here, right, because of a painful ending, some type of a harsh ending. You're seeing your person as the chariot, the seven of swords, and the wheel of fortune. You're seeing them as, you know, I feel like, you know, creating change for themselves and moving forward here, uh, possibly uh, moving forward with victory after struggles. But they're doing it, you know, real underhandedly, right? Seven of Swords. They're doing it, they're sneaking here, right? Or they are lying, they're being deceptive. There could also be a Sagittarian in the reading, and there could be a Cancerian here as well. But these energies over here and how you are seeing them, you could be wanting, you could be, you know, uh, you could be the one who is moving forward with victory, possibly, after, you know, somebody has deceived you, possibly. Their current energy, and I feel like they are the deceivers here, pretty much, I, I feel like, because of their cards. But it can still be go either way, guys, so don't forget that. You can swap around the characters, uh, swap around the players. You can, you know, switch back and forth, okay, during the reading. 
And their energy is the Five of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. So there's two fives here. In fact, all the fives are in the reading. And fives are about change and crises, right? And there is change here, right? There is definitely change here, the Wheel of Fortune showing up. I feel like your person is either struggling because you are juggling, but I feel like they are the ones who are juggling you, okay, Leo, for some of you, okay? Because these cards are all, these three cards can all be, you know, uh, third-party cards. Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Five of Swords. There could be chaos and conflict here in the reading, I mean, in this relationship, <laughs> in the reading. And uh, there could be, let's get one card on that Five of Swords, because I want to see a little bit more about that Five of Swords. For your person, this is their energy. And we have the Strength card. Yeah, so somebody... You know, this is interesting because I feel like somebody's trying to be strong about this, right? Yeah, this could be you over here in their energy. But I said just a second ago, um, guys, that this could be, they could be suffering from a third party, right? That maybe that, possibly that you did this, Leo. It is possible because you have the Queen of Swords over here, Leo, and this is your current energy. You could be, you know, you could be having this new beginning. I feel like this is you, though questioning somebody else about it, but you can be questioning yourself, right? Kind of like challenging yourself about it, like discerning, right? Discerning a matter, and maybe inwardly. What, why is that Queen of Swords in for Leo? High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like there's a secret here. Yeah, I do. There could be a water sign, though. Uh, I believe the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups are both here. So, yeah, I already feel like there's kind of a lot of players. Because the Queen and the King of Wands are here, the King of Pentacles, and now we see the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So, um, yeah. Most of the time, these are characters and these are players in the reading. Okay, sometimes it is the energy. But I feel like, you know, uh, you could be questioning somebody, maybe, about a secret. But you could be having a secret, too. Yeah. Let's, keep, let's get one card on the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess there for... Leo, and you could be wanting a new start, Leo, maybe with an Aries or just, you know, a new start in general, magician, uh, but you could be wanting a new start maybe because uh, somebody has left you, so this reading can go either way, okay, until further notice, guys. <laughs> somebody has uh, cheated here and gone outside of a relationship, that is crystal clear, the tower now and the hanged man here, so there could be a Piscean here. I feel like you're questioning somebody here, and there's a third party, and somebody is asking questions about it, and, you know, looking for answers, and demanding honesty, yeah, demanding honesty here, and somebody's stuck about it, somebody's stuck about the deception, they are stuck about the cheating, yeah, and there is cheating in here, um, yeah, yeah, there is, and somebody, I feel like somebody, you know, is feeling like they're struggling in this in this union, right? They're struggling, and things are just too difficult, all right, with all these fives in the reading. The death card is showing up also in the reading. So let's continue here. You're seeing your person, okay, I explained that here. But over here in their crossing energy is the moon, right? I feel like this is uh, a water sign in this reading. It could be a secret as well because we see the High Priestess. But the High Priestess is also, yeah, there is a water sign for sure in this reading. High Priestess, Hangman, Chariot, Moon, and the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So there is definitely a water sign in this reading. And, uh, yeah, for sure. And their crossing energy, they could be this water sign, the moon, they could be a Pisces, or a Cancer. They could also be a Scorpio. But the Queen of Pentacles is here too, and sometimes she is just the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. But we see the King over here now. <coughs> so, so far we have two couples, <coughs> the Queen and the King of Wands, and the Queen and the King of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think there are some counterparts here. I think there are... <coughs> Excuse me. I think there are some couples here in this reading who are uh, <coughs> possibly on the same page entirely, right? But what, it, what is shown here for sure is that there is cheating here and that there is unhappiness as well because we see the, uh, we see the Four of Cups in the reading, right? And we see the Five, the five of Cups is sadness. The Four of Cups is disappointment or rejection or just, you know, plain old discontentment. 
<coughs> and we see the Five of Swords, which is all about chaos and conflict here. Yeah, so somebody is suffering here in a situation. It could be both parties, possibly, because there's so many people in this reading. All right. And with co-create, for me, that is saying that there is somebody here, Leo, that probably you really want to be with. <coughs> Excuse me. There's somebody here that you really want to be with here. Yeah, and there's some kind of a timeline that needs to be met here. So we'll find out as we go. Uh, what that timeline could be. But I'm looking at this reading, and I feel like it is just about, you know, reconciling with somebody, <coughs> possibly, uh, before things, you know, before it's too late, right? And sometimes that can happen in a union. Sometimes, you know, I know there are some people who are, oh, no, it's too late for that. They're just seriously practical about things. And we see, you know, the king and the queen of pentacles in the reading, and they are definitely practical, okay? They don't rely on emotions. They rely on logic and, yeah, and practicality, okay? <clears throat> Even in love relationships, they, that's how they rule. I mean, that's how they roll. That's how they rule, and that's how they roll, which is really interesting to me because I think that relationships should be uh, a balance, right, of logic and practicality and uh, feelings, but I feel like, you know, for the most part, it should be uh, a little bit more feelings, but let's keep going. I'm a fire sign, so I could be thinking that way. I know water signs feel like that, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, in their crossing energy is the moon, the queen of pentacles, and the death card, and the eight of pentacles, I just think that your person is either drug you into a third party or they're trying to be strong about this third party because they could be trying to balance themselves because of a third party. Yeah, they could be. Wow. This is a really interesting reading so far. And in their challenge, there's an ending here, I believe. But there could be a transformation, death card, eight of pentacles, like to put in the work with somebody, right? To transform this and switch it all around. But I feel like there is, there could be a secret here, there could be, that is challenging your person. And that because somebody, because you could be juggling them, Leo, and this could be, this could go the other way, okay? And this is not a reprimand, all right? Because <laughs> I know the way I say it sometimes. Now, in their desired position is the Ten of Cups, the uh, King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So this is really clear. They want victory, and they want to be with this Earth sign, or somebody who behaves like one, all right? Let's get one more card on that Six of Wands to see what, what else they are desiring. Page of Swords. So I feel like they could be, uh, they could be wanting to, uh, they could be wanting more information on how to achieve that, right? Yeah, they could be here, especially if they're, the TikTok is here, because this person could feel like they are under a timeline, possibly. How they are seeing you as the Six of Swords, the Justice and the Emperor. I feel like they're seeing you as, they're either leaving you, uh, Leo, uh, you know, because of all the conflict here, Six of Swords, or they are, uh, or you're leaving them, right? They're seeing you as the Six of Swords, like you are leaving. Uh, because there is justice here. Somebody got their justice here. Uh, and somebody could be, you know, maybe there's a truth here that somebody is pursuing, Okay. I don't see the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it is actually in here. Underlying energies, yeah. So, beg your pardon on that. There could be a truth here. Let's get a card on the Emperor. And uh, this is how Leo's person sees them. And the Page of Wands. So somebody, you know, is uh, off to a new start here by themselves. I am feeling like that's the case here, right? And somebody's leaving because there's too many problems. Yeah, there's too much chaos, conflict, arguing, lies discontentment, uh, you know, maybe, you know, uh, unfulfilled promises, things like that, right? We see the Seven of Swords right over here. So you guys are both, you know, you and your person, I feel like, are both seeing each other as kind of leaving here. Somebody's having victory here, though, right? And I feel like somebody's leaving because, because of too many problems. In the past dynamic, Leo, the... Nine of Wands, this is probably you, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So in the past here, I feel like this just talks about a third party, and this could have been you in it, okay? But the kind of, you know, Nine of Wands doesn't always have to be you, Leo. It could be, um, it's 
could be another fire sign, but this could be somebody taking action, right? Just kind of, you know, uh, rushing in kind of and taking action. Uh, and this is sometimes somebody who is not reliable here, right? Inconsistent, because they don't want commitment. The, the Nine of Wands typically doesn't want commitment, all right? Now I know how Sagittarius gets their uh, Don Juan uh, nickname. Yeah, they do, <laughs> or label. And, um, you know, I feel like in the past dynamic that somebody was just unhappy here because somebody was in a third party. That's it. And somebody could have wanted to reconcile as well, maybe with the other party, right? And they didn't get that. They were rejected, maybe. Um, let's see. Let's get one more card on the Three of Cups here in the past dynamic for Leo and their person. The Six of Cups is here, and it's showing up in the reverse. Yeah. This can be, wow, this can be somebody not wanting to go back to their past. Yeah, and maybe reconcile. Yeah. Woo, this is really interesting here. Okay. Now, in the current dynamic is the Five of Pentacles, which we know is, you know, either something's lacking in a union or somebody is leaving somebody out here. And for me, I feel like somebody's leaving somebody out here. Queen of Wands, Judgment, and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody's leaving somebody out, okay? Somebody could have made a decision already to leave somebody out, right? And maybe work on it with somebody else, right? Put the work in, Three of Pentacles. Clarify that Three of Pentacles for the current dynamic, Leo and the person. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody, yeah, somebody has left somebody out here, or somebody's leaving them out. This is current. And they're making a decision to do that, yeah. And they could be making a decision to be with somebody from a third party. Judgment, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Wow. And you're in this, Leo, okay, just so you know here. No reprimanding going on here. This is you, the Queen of Wands, right? Your giant wand over there. Getting ready to cast some magic, right? <laughs> or, you know, just kind of... Uh, cast your love spell on somebody, because the wands can be about uh, passion, right? Okay, now over here, the Ace of Swords, Leo, this is the underlying energies. Why is that the underlying energies between you two? Three of Cups, yeah, wow, so either, yeah, definitely. Six of Pentacles. So somebody's having victory here with a third party, right? Or there's just a truth about a third party. But I think somebody's having victory, yeah, and somebody's leaving over here for a third party. And I feel like that's you, or they are leaving you, uh, yeah, they could be leaving you to be in a third party. Yeah, that's what I think is going on. You could be doing the leaving, though, uh, um, Leo, okay? Now, the Knight of Cups is the challenge or the block. Let's see, why is that Knight of Cups there? This could be... Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, it could be, because we know the Knights are, you know, they're core cards, right? And Now we have the Nine of Cups and the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. And this is the block here. So there could be a Virgo in this reading because the Queen and the King of Pentacles are here. Yeah. And the Knight could be here as well, but I, I'm not really seeing him. But here, the challenge is that somebody's giving their cup to somebody here that they really want, right? This chick here, this woman, uh, whoever you want to call it, she is super happy with all these nine cups, right? She's like, wow, I'm, I'm you know, she's in uh, Blissville over here. Yeah, she is so happy that she, you know, has a kind of a stupid look on her face. And, um... <laughs> The Hermit is showing up as well, so there could be a Virgo that somebody, you know, this Virgo, if there is a Virgo here, is blocking your union, Leo. Clarify that Hermit. Why is that Hermit there? Somebody could be soul-searching too, though, right? They could be, maybe, going really deep here, Eight of Swords. I feel like there could be a Virgo here, but somebody is stuck here, and, uh, Somebody feels stuck here, like a, like, a, like a victim here, in this mental prison, and they don't know how to get themselves out of it, right? And it is about, it can be about somebody else offering their cup, right? Somebody else wanting to be with their nine of cups, right? Yeah, which has everything, all these cups have something good in them. One has, you know, money, one has really good looks, one has a good lover, uh, one has kindness, <laughs> one has a good cook, you know, so this lady is super happy, right? But I feel like that's what this is about here. Somebody is stuck because somebody is like, 
uh, somebody else is giving away their cup to somebody that they really want. Yeah. Somebody that they really want on both sides. So whoever is stuck could be wanting, you know, the other person could be offering their cup to somebody, to that person that they really, really want. Right? Yeah. So, I hope you guys get what I just said here. Okay. Four of Pentacles is showing up in the hiding position. So they're hi they're holding somebody, right? They're holding on to somebody. Yeah, and I thought that they were the ones who were, when I was looking at their energy, they are the ones, I feel, who have some kind of a third party. Uh, this could be even worse than that. This could be this could be more people involved. Clarify that Four of Pentacles. Why do they hide the Four of Pentacles? This can be unknown to you, right? Of course, if they're hiding it. Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups is shown up in the reverse. So now, you know, this is what they're hiding. They're holding on to somebody that they're going back to. Yes, Eight of Cups in the reverse. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is really interesting here. And I was saying that over here. I was saying that in the past, somebody was really unhappy because they could not have a reconciliation. Or that somebody else was reconciling with somebody from their past. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, they're holding on and they're turning around here. The Eight of Cups. They're turning around now and, you know, and they're going back to somebody here. Let's get one more card on the Eight of Cups. In the reverse. This is what they're hiding or what is unknown. Three of Swords. Yeah, they're going back to somebody in a third party. Wow. So, yeah, this is clear. I love these readings that are clear. Because sometimes when there's th three parties, it gets too muddy. It does. These readings aren't, you know, uh, there needs to be, you know, more energy over here for, for, for me for another party, right? Because I have you here, Leo, and I have them. And then I have, you know, all the other uh, components that, you know, kind of affect your union. The Queen of Cups is what they fear. Why do they fear the Queen of Cups? the Death card, and the Seven of Pentacles. So, wow. I feel like your person, yeah, your person could be a water sign, and they could be fearing an ending with an earth sign over here. They could be. And their desire position is the King of Pentacles. But they could be this King of Pentacles, right? They could be. And they could be fearing that there's an ending with a water sign. Yeah. And I feel like that is probably the truth for some, okay? It can still go the other way. Because in their crossing energy is the moon, right? Which could be a secret. But I feel like this is a water sign showing up here. A Pisces, most likely. For some of you. Because the hangman is showing up in your energy, Leo. Yeah. Yeah. As is the high priestess. And I feel like you are stuck here about some kind of a, you know, about this new beginning, right? You are. You're, 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 you're in limbo here. That's what you are. I'm looking at this right now, and I'm not sure if I mentioned, you know, that as well. But um, you, I feel like you are stuck here, and you're trying to find out answers here. Yeah, and it could be about a Piscean, okay, for some of you, all right? Let's keep going here. No, not for all of you guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> um, because it doesn't work like that, right? Okay. So, yeah, this is really interesting, this reading now. And let's see what else they might be fearing. Let's get a card. So they're afraid that things might end, that things might end for them, right? With they, either, they either are a Queen of Cups or, uh, or they're afraid that things are going to end, end with, a, with a water sign. And right, Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to, like, they're, they, they're looking at it going, gee, I wonder what's going to happen with this. I wonder if this is going to end. Yeah, that's what they're doing here, okay? And they could be, you know, wondering if another union is going to end. They could, because there's too many uh, flirts in this reading, all right? There's too many flirty flirts, right? Nine of Pentacles is their true intentions. And we see the Nine of Pentacles, which is the single card showing up in the current dynamic. Why is that Nine of Pentacles there? Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Okay, so they're gonna, they're going, they're single here in their true intentions, right? They're leaving. I feel like they're leaving, but you could have left them here. You could have left them, and uh, even in their true intentions, they could be, they could be ending up like this, right? And it's kind of like this could just be their fate, kind of, 
Either way, whether or not they are choosing to be single, it is because somebody is holding on to somebody, Four of Pentacles, and is posing a serious burden here. And we have already seen that in the reading, okay? And I'm going to end the reading there, Leo, and... Um, if you need your own reading, Leo, which is the best way to go here, uh, we can certainly find out, you know, what your person might be hiding, what they're afraid of, things like that, because those are key, right? And that is the only way you're going to find out uh, about your situation truly, right? These are general. And if you did, if some of this did resonate with you guys, please give a thumbs up. And the information is below for readings, right? Details in the About section. And I'm wishing you a ton of power and light. And thank you so much, Leo.